So you set out with, uh, you know, goals, and then, you know, towards the end of the year, you're like, well, this fucking year shot, so why even fucking bother, right? Well, it's a new fucking year, right? And I was like, well, if I'm going to make a video every day, better not just fall on my face on, like, day fucking two. You know, um, that would be bad. So, I didn't prepare much for you guys, so I'll just tell you this, uh, thing that happened to me on Christmas Eve. Um, so, I went to Pueblo, Colorado, and, uh, <sighs> I took my mother out of an assisted living facility, and I, I was willing to take her to dinner for Christmas, and I was willing to take her anywhere she wanted to go, and I was hoping for something fancy for Pueblo, Colorado. Like, they have a, a Red Lobster, you know, there's other places, but like, you know, at least Red Lobster level, but uh, as she got into my truck, she let me know that she had coupons for the pizza ranch. And, uh, the pizza ranch was not what I was, uh, thinking that I was driving all the way down there to visit her to go to. You know, if you're going to risk getting the Rona, you, know, you might as well do it for fine dining, not the fucking pizza ranch. But I can't argue with her because she had coupons. And so, uh, to pizza ranch we went. It's, it's best to just not argue with her at all these days. It's, it's just pointless. Just, uh, makes the experience worse, so. I took her to Pizza Ranch, got her walker out of the, the back of my truck, set it down. She headed on into the Pizza Ranch. She she had her mask on, I had my mask on. We got in there. First thing we see is uh, a gaggle of teenagers behind the counter. Not a one of them wearing their mask. Right? Of course, people outside in the parking lot, they weren't wearing masks. But, you know, a lot of people... When it's open, fresh air, they take the mask off. But, like, nobody inside was wearing their mask at all. Not the serving staff, not the patrons. Uh, there was one guy who had a mask that he would put back on when he, go, when, he went, when he went to the buffet and when he went to the bathroom. And I think he was homeless. So he had the good sense to uh, try to protect his health. But uh, uh, it wasn't really bustling, and so there were like two seats, or two tables in between everybody who was eating. So we just went to a table that looked far enough away from everybody. And uh, so uh, I went and got some pizza and put it on my plate, and I got some fried chicken at the pizza ranch. Uh, they had good side marinara to, like, drown out, you know, whatever you don't like about their pizza. Um, oh, that was a nice spicy marinara. I liked it. Um, that, just the side marinara. That's what I'll say about that. Um, not the worst pizza. It's not Chuck E. Cheese level bad. It's not CeCe's pizza level bad, but, um, you know, it's, it's a pizza buffet. What do you expect, you know? Um, good salad options. But, uh, you know, to think that I went, like, the whole fucking year, didn't get the Rona, and then I'm risking it at the pizza ranch to have Christmas dinner with my mom. That, that shit just didn't sit well with me. But I sit down at the table with her, and she read my t-shirt, and my t-shirt said, Certified Addiction Counselor, what's your superpower, right? I got it from an ad on Facebook, 
like a couple years ago. She saw addiction counselor and she re- she remembered what my job is. And so she looked at me and she said, you know, I don't like the way that they're using methamphetamines to get people off heroin. I'm not for that. And I was just, as a head scratcher, I was like, wait, wait, no, um, wrong meth, Ma, that, that, that's methadone that they're using, not methamphetamines, and she looked at me and said, no, I saw it on the news, they're using methamphetamines, they're just giving them out to get people off of heroin, I was like, no, no, Ma, no, that's not how it works, um, the, it, it's methadone. And she looked at me dead in the eyes and told me, You don't know what you're talking about. I saw it on the news. And by that time, there was a uh, an audience of people at the pizza ranch seeing her voice get a little bit louder with me. And I just said, Fine, <laughs> whatever. And, uh, yeah, we ate our dinner. And then, uh, I took her back to her little assisted living facility and drove home. I do know what I'm talking about, though. But sometimes you just, you, you gotta pick your battles. And that's, uh, that's my story of the Pizza Ranch of 2021. Thank goodness that's behind us. And, uh, hope you enjoyed the story. I'll try to come up with, uh, better content in order to keep this ball rolling and, and keep you guys in the loop. <laughs>